What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about Star Wars Episode 9 because apparently it's being seen as a course correction by Lucasfilm. This is from our good friends over at Screen Rant. Now, I can't see how it's going to... How is there a course correction needed? There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with the franchise. It's just a vocal minority. There's no problems, right? Help me understand what's going on here, Screen Rant. Help me understand. Let's jump right into it. I'm just going to skim over a little bit of this, and then we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what I think is going to happen with Episode Nine in terms of the box office if Lucasfilm doesn't figure this out, and I don't think they will. Star Wars Episode Nine is being seen as a course correction by Lucasfilm following the commercial disappointment of Solo. The galaxy far, far away soared to incredible heights during the first few years of the franchise's Disney era. But the hot streak came screeching to a halt this past summer. Ron Howard's Solo, A Star Wars Story, the spinoff film detailing Han Solo's adventurous youth, became the first installment in the series to lose money at the box office. It ended its run, earning only $392 million worldwide against a budget that ballooned past the $250 million mark. That unprecedented development forced Lucasfilm to hit the pause button and reevaluate their strategy for Star Wars moving forward. Other planned anthologies for characters like Obi-Wan Kenobi and Boba Fett are reportedly on hold, and Disney is planning a slowdown after Episode 9 hits uh, or debuts next December. So, um, that's pretty interesting there. We're going to scroll down here a little bit. Um, and we're just going to talk about the end where it says, while it's great, Lucasfilm's managing ex episode nine, um, much better than Solo. Abrams' latest is also the film that practically sells itself. Uh, it's the final chapter of a story audiences have been following for more than four decades and will definitely be poised uh, as a must-see cinematic event. That's a far cry from Han Solo origin story, which, while generally well-received, wasn't exactly in high demand. Episode 9 is also going to be the first new Star Wars movie after a 19-month gap, meaning general audiences will be primed and ready for another trip to the galaxy far, far away. Now, I, I will say, they've made, a, they've made a couple of good points, and I'm going to give them credit for that. Um, the, the best point they made was that there's a 19 month gap in between Star Wars movies. That's a good, good point. And I'm going to give them credit for that. And that is a point I honestly have not thought about. I've been saying that I think episode nine is going to do under $1 billion, which if happens is going to be a monumental problem for Lucasfilm. If you go from $2 billion worldwide, which was amazing, which the force awakens did 2 billion, you go down to $1.3 billion. Uh, I still say that it should have done, uh, being The Last Jedi, should have done around $1.5, $1.6 billion. $1.3 is not a failure by any means, but the failure came into the fact that audiences just did not like the movie. And you saw that because of Solo. The, the effects of Solo, uh, or the effects of The Last Jedi is why Solo failed. So that's why Solo failed. And then if you want to bring into the fact that it was just a movie that a lot of people just weren't interested in. Nobody was really wanting to see a young Han Solo movie without Harrison Ford. It's so stupid. Um, but that was more about The Last Jedi than anything else. Um, but if you go from $2 billion to $1.3 to below $1 billion, if you go from $2 billion to below $1 billion to end your trilogy monumental problem but again a 19 month 19 month gap is is a very good point that i did not think about now we're talking about general audience okay we're talking about people they don't they don't listen to people like me on youtube they don't give a shit what i have to say okay the general audience is going to push this box office it's definitely going to happen so they don't care about what i have to say they don't care about all of the drama they don't care about now some of them do but the heavy majority don't so that's a good point but I am still sitting here saying right now that episode 9 will not make $1 billion. It will not. And if that happens, that is going to be such a monumental problem for Lucasfilm. And they cannot hide from this anymore if that happens. Now, again, we are a long way away. We're still a year and a month. So we're about 13 months away from episode 9. A lot can change in 13 months. So in 13 months, when people want to come back to this video and say, Oh, Jeremy, either you were right or wrong. You know, again, I'm not I'm not making my final prediction, but 13 months out, based on everything I see, based on everything I feel, based on how the fandom is going, based on the excitement level for episode 9, I comfortably sit here and tell you right now, I don't think this movie is going to make over a billion. Now, we're going to continue to monitor it, but there's a lot of decisions that have to be made and a lot 
a lot of course correcting that needs to be made, and it's not just with the film, although there's a lot that needs to be made with the film. There's a lot that needs to happen at Lucasfilm and how they are treating the fans. Now, Episode 9, we're going to probably get a massive reveal at Star Wars Celebration next year in Chicago. That is going to be the moment that if they want to get this thing back on track, and I don't think they can and I don't think they will, but if you really, really understand what's going on with Star Wars Lucasfilm, if you understand how broken it is and how the fans, how frustrated they are, if you really want to get this fixed, you better bring the pain at Epi- at uh, Star Wars Celebration. You better bring something amazing. You better blow our minds. And you better understand that the fans are tired of getting the crap from Lucasfilm on social media. You better understand it. Now, I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. So, right now, Episode 9, under $1 billion. I don't think this is going to be a course correction. I don't think they're going to fix it. I don't think that they're going to make this happen. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I feel right now. You let me know what you think in the comments below. And also, before we run, make sure you check out our new merch. New merch, crypto fashion. I have overlaid an image right here so you can see our brand new t-shirt. And then when you go to the shop, you will see that we have more. Support it. We're going to have hoodies. We're going to have long sleeve tees. We're going to have a lot more. But we got to start moving some product. I have not been pushing our t-shirts very much at all. And we're about to start doing it now. You guys have a great day. Let me know, do you think episode nine is going to clear $1 billion? We will talk to you later. Roll Tide.